Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here at the Miserable Liberal at Ron Placone. Hi, Jimmy. Hello. Rod's on tour in January in Florida. Go to ronplacone.com. So what I like about Rand Paul and the libertarian wing of the uh, Republic is they're very anti-war. He's a, he's a non-interventionist. I'm all for it. I think this is where the progressive left and the libertarian certainly can come together. Uh, here he is with Jake Tapper. And again, as we told you, and, uh, you know, every time they do it, I get upset. And then I remember, oh, it makes me look better because I, I keep telling people that uh, every establishment news outlet will be for every war. And they are. Right? CNN, MSNBC, ABC, New York Times, Washington Post, for every war. And uh, so here we go. So Rand Paul comes on to kind of break down why we should get the hell out of the Middle East. And, uh, of course, the newsman makes the case for war. Here we go. Now, President Trump calls Obama the founder of ISIS because he says Obama's decision to withdraw troops from uh, Iraq created this power vacuum in the Middle East. Does right. the president, doesn't he now? I think it's important. Go ahead. I, th I, think it's, I think it's important that we get history correct here. Where did ISIS begin? They began in Syria in the midst of a civil war. The Civil War got worse as the U.S., Qatar, and also Saudi Arabia were supplying arms to people like ISIS, al-Nusra, al-Qaeda, Sunni extremists fighting against Assad. The problem is, and this is the mainstream foreign policy problem of our country, we think we always have to be involved. Maybe when there's two evils, Assad may be an evil, Sunni extremists may be an evil, maybe we shouldn't always have to choose a side and be involved in war. But we got involved in that war, and we added to the chaos. And so the millions of people that left, that's on the, on the, hands, the, the hands of many Americans who said, like Hillary Clinton, oh, we've got to be in there, and we've got to somehow get rid of Assad. It should not be the job of America to be replacing regimes around the world. Let me just uh, correct one thing he said that's incorrect. We didn't join the Civil War. We started it. So the CIA went in, and Saudi Arabia, and... Uh, and we funded literally the Al Nusra, Al Qaeda, factions of ISIS. The, they called them moderate rebels. There's no such thing. And um, so they fund literally the CIA. Jeffrey Sachs. We did another video. He, he explained this to the people on Morning Joe Ball, right? Which then they completely ignored. Uh, but so the way the Syrian war started uh, was. Uh, Literally, the CIA went in, funded these. We've been trying to overthrow Assad, not just since 2011 in the Arab Spring, but for decades, right? And uh, so this isn't new. They just found a new new uh, lie to tell you about why they want to do it. And the reason why we're in Syria is at the behest of Israel, and they want to put a pipeline. Saudi Arabia wants to put a pi pipeline through Syria. And so they can sell natural gas uh, to Europe. And, of course, Russia doesn't want them to sell it because they Russia supplies that to Europe. So that's why they're there also. So I just wanted to clear that up. This isn't about us joining. This is about us actually engineering us a civil war in Syria. Okay. This is what President Trump recognized in Iraq, that that was the biggest foreign policy disaster of the last several decades. And he's right. But guess what? All of these Republicans and all these generals you quote, they still don't get that the Iraq war was a mistake. And they're wrong, and I think the people actually know it. And if this were put to the people, th this is polled all of the time. I think 69% of the people were polled in a Pew poll recently and said we should get out of Afghanistan, whether it's sooner or later or immediately, people are ready to come home. Uh, you, you still He's 100% right about all that. People want to get the hell out of these things. And, you know, Jake Tapper, before this had quoted, uh, you know, Trump's all his uh, military advisors that he's doing it wrong. Uh, yeah, these are the people who told us that we should go into Iraq. The same military advisors who say we should stay in Afghanistan. The same military advisors who said we should go into Libya. We, we should stop. We got to stop listening to those guys. You don't ask Chris Christie when we should close the buffet. <laughs> talking about the way that we're doing it. But I do want to ask you just one philosophical point, and I, I don't want you to... Now, watch this. This is one of the most underhanded bullshit corporate news tool things I've ever seen. Now, let's remember, Jake Tapper, for every war and more of it, because he's part of the corporate news media, and they're sponsored by fossil fuel companies and the military-industrial complex. And here's a guy who's actually trying to tell the truth about it. Watch, watch the kind of BS bullshit he does. I know that I just repeated myself. 
to think that I'm being rude here, but I'm just wondering, in the last 20 years, is there any act of U.S. intervention with military force abroad that you support? <laughs> Whenever you start a question off with a disclaimer like that, it means some nonsense is coming. Hey, I'm not trying to be rude here, but pff, why are you, are you, all, are you always... Uh, Aren't you up for any wars? Philosophically speaking, though. Has we there... got like eight of them for you. You're not into any of them. Not have, even a little. Have there been any you've been for? Oh, so you're not for any war? Oh, okay. That's, a, that's what he wants to do, right? Oh, so you're not, you're not for any war? We He's... get it. You're that guy. Ooh, no wars. <laughs> <laughs> so th that's what Jake is trying to do here. Otherwise, why would you ask that question? Not like, well, uh, I know that, Senator, you're actually, you know, you're not a peacenik. You're actually for a while. So go ahead and tell. No, he's like, you're not for any war ever, are you? There's something that, wrong with that, you. That's what he's trying to do. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Except Jake Tapper is a as bad of a journalist he is. He would also be a bad lawyer because he asks a question he doesn't know the answer to. And on a serious note, if Jake Tapper really wanted to explore that philosophy, what he would have said is he would have been like, you are typically a non-interventionist. Why? Yes. That would have been if he really just wanted to explore the philosophy. That's right. how he would have. That's how he would have posed right, that question. Right, but he asked. He asked it in the douchiest way possible. Absolutely. Yes. Now look at this guy. He's a comedian, and he came <laughs> up with that question. Right. Okay. So, but guess what? He's not only a bad journalist, also a bad uh, question asker. Because askerer. <laughs> <laughs> because he doesn't know the answer to that question and he thinks he does so here we go uh do you did you support going yeah, i supported go ahead. yes after we were attacked on 9 11 i did support to go into afghanistan i would have voted for the resolution but we're ignoring the resolution it said we'd go after those who planned abetted aided the people who attacked us it never said anything about associated forces never said anything about war in yemen somalia mali syria none of this was ever authorized by congress so what we are doing in like seven different war theaters right now is unconstitutional and we shouldn't be doing it. But I did support going in after 9-11, but I have not supported the nation building. I would have declared victory long ago and come home. And so when the president declares victory over ISIS, he's exactly right. We took back 99% of their land. Aren't these people going to stand up and now fight for themselves? Can they not do anything? And it doesn't work to have Americans there policing Muslim lands. It just engenders more terrorism. The longer Americans stay, the more terrorism you'll have. We are so forward deployed that we can attack on a moment's notice from anywhere on the planet. So us leaving doesn't mean we don't have to be involved. You know, we are off. He said he just wow. looked great. He goes, we are so forward deployed, meaning, you know, we got troops everywhere in the world. So this doesn't, this doesn't mean we're not going to be able to attack somewhere at a moment's notice. We can. We got submarines and troops everywhere. That's what he's saying. So pulling out of Syria doesn't make us less safe. Sure, under the waters, we are everywhere mm -hmm. around the planet. There is nothing about us leaving that means that we couldn't be involved if we had to be involved. But really, the people who live there, the Muslims who live in these lands need to police the Muslims who live in these lands. If it's Americans, it'll always be seen by those who live mm -hmm. there as some sort of uh, religious crusade and it encourages more terrorism. So the sooner we get out of that mess, the better. Thank you very much. That's a little house soapbox. Thank you very much, Rand Paul. And um, that's, I just wanted to show you that because he's 100% right. We're there illegally. Again, these, that's all stuff Jake Tapper will never say. So that's what that's what kind of gets me is that he'll tell you we're there illegally. We're, we're not we're not supposed to be there against the U.N. charter. There's nothing there that says we should be there. Oh, I forgot that we're there illegally. Yeah. No one ever they, they never say that. He makes the case. He's so reasonable. I'm actually glad he was asked the question about intervention. Me too. Because all of a sudden he lists everything and describes exactly how we're not authorized to continue in all of this de deployment throughout the world. The but longer that li I like how he closed it out. The longer we stay in the Middle East, the more terrorists we have. And that's the bottom line. And he's right. Muslims have to police other Muslims and the only reason we're there well there's lots of reasons now but it had a lot to do with the petrodollar and uh, Saudi Arabia uh, promising to monetize their oil in dollars 
So, uh, again, that's something else Jake Tapper will never tell you. Isn't it funny they never mention the petrodollar? Isn't that something? Yeah. Yeah, if me and Rand Paul were having a beer together, we'd be like eye and eye on all this. Then healthcare would come up. I'd be like, oh, boy. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. I, I got to go. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> but, you know, we could be allies on uh, on this. On peace. If you like our content, looking for ways to help support, here's a great mug or a T-shirt or a thing. You can get it right underneath there, or you can become a patron to our show. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Plus, come see a live Jimmy Dore show. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all our live shows, and make sure you're subscribed. I know it sounds crazy, but they unsubscribe people from our show all the time, and you have to click that bell so they send you a notice when we drop a video. Thanks for your support.